Hey, it's Rachel, and I want to talk to you about what to do when you make mistakes as a parent or you do something that you regret. Maybe you yelled at your children or you made them feel bad. Anything that when you put your head on the pillow at night, you say to yourself, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. So the first thing I'm going to say is, you know this already, at least in your head, you are going to make mistakes as a parent. So I feel like it's my job as someone who works with parents for a living to tell you to stop trying not to make mistakes. The first reason I say that is because, interestingly, the harder we try not to make mistakes, the more likely we are going to make mistakes. And the reason for that is when we try not to make mistakes, the pressure that we put on ourselves actually puts us into a stress response. And that stress response prevents you from being the parent you want to be. And it also prevents you from seeing what your child really needs in the moment. When you don't see what your child really needs in the moment, then you probably aren't doing what would make you feel good as a parent, and then you do something you regret. So it's this vicious cycle. You try not to make mistakes, and you're more likely to make mistakes. But the other thing I want to tell you is that mistakes do not damage your children the way you think they do. In fact, if you make mistakes, and talk to your kids about them, and I'm actually gonna give you a specific strategy for how to do that in a moment. If you make mistakes and talk to them about how to handle it, they are actually more likely to have relationships in the future that thrive because, think about it, everyone they're gonna have a relationship with is going to make mistakes, and you're teaching them how to handle that. So look at it from a child's perspective. Imagine there's a child who has a parent whom they believe is perfect. Maybe they have a parent who's really calm and really sweet and really patient. Maybe they think that parent always makes the right decisions. How do you think that child is gonna feel when they realize that they themselves are imperfect? Well, inevitably, they're gonna feel bad about themselves because they think that their parents are perfect, so there must be something wrong with them. It actually helps your child to know that you are imperfect so that they can accept their own imperfections. So it's really important that you do show your child that you're imperfect. So what do you do when you make those mistakes in order to help your child instead of hurt them? There's a strategy that I teach called connect and teach. After you've made a mistake, maybe you've yelled at your child, what you want to do is go to them later. It depends. It can be a few hours later or maybe at bedtime, just when everyone's not flooded with emotions. And you ask your child three questions. The first question is meant to make a connection. This is where the connect comes from. So you ask your child, child, when I yelled, how did that make you feel? Or what was it like for you? Allow your child to tell you how your mistake impacted them. Now, of course, you're going to likely want to become defensive, so you have to prepare for this a little bit ahead of time. But if you actually use this as a connecting moment, it's amazing how strong that bond can be between you when you allow your child to release some of the feelings that they had. So the next question after you've connected is to ask them, child, what could I as a parent have done differently in that situation? And there are actually two reasons you ask this question. The first reason is you're actually teaching your child emotional regulation skills in a very uh, non-shameful way. So you're teaching them how to regulate emotions by allowing them to tell you what they think should be done. And they love doing that, of course, by the way. But it also teaches them, well, when you are angry, mom or dad, you should do this. So then they start to realize, hey, when I'm angry, maybe I could do that too. So you've now taught them some emotional regulation skills and you've shown them that you are willing to be vulnerable. By connecting and asking that first question, you've said, hey, I'm willing to admit that I've made a mistake. So then when you get to this third question, which is, what could you, child, have done differently? Since that question is vulnerable, but you've just shown them that you're willing to be vulnerable, they're actually likely to answer that third question. So you say to them, what could you have done differently? And they're more willing to take responsibility for their own role in that situation. In that way, you've taught them how to deal with mistakes. You've taught them how to deal with their anger or whatever big feeling they have in a more positive way. And you've done this all in a way that actually brings you closer together. So mistakes don't have to harm your child. If anything, they can help them in this way. So hopefully that helps. I want you to remember, make mistakes, be okay with it, just address them with your children and give them some tools to deal with it. If you have any questions, you can always email me at rachel at rachel-bailey.com. Until then, I'll see you next time.